The day is finally here. I'm going to go over how I run my house off this uh, Honda EU 2200i uh, uh, generator. So a couple months ago, you probably remember back in January, I made a couple videos about this generator and also just talking about how I want to run the house off of, um, off of it. And uh, when I say the house, I really mean like four circuits, which I would consider critical. Uh, that includes my fridge, uh, the furnace, uh, hot water, and um, we have a fish tank. So I wanted to run that as well. So I'll go into that. Um, it took a bit longer than expected because I ran into some issues that I wasn't expecting. And I also, I've, there's a ton of first in this project for me. So I've never used a generator before. I've never drilled into concrete and I had to drill into concrete to mount some of the, the new panel, uh, the transfer switch. Um, I've never worked on electrical within my panel. I've never ran Romex. I've never dealt with uh, branch circuits. Uh, I've never filed my own permit. So there, there was a ton of stuff here I needed to learn and it ended up taking a, a bit longer. So uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole installation. There's tons of videos on that. The company that makes a transfer switch makes a pretty good installation video and I'm not gonna do a better job than that. So I'll just go over what I'm doing, kind of what it looks like in my uh, setup. And uh, I'll give you a couple ideas about like uh, things I learned and give you an idea of kind of like what how much power I'm drawing for these different circuits and um, kind of what this looks like in practice. So uh, a couple things I learned uh, and some kind of advice I would have for anyone thinking about doing this. Uh, before you buy a generator, before you buy a transfer switch, before you get into any of that, Make sure to open your panel, get an idea of what circuits you want to run off uh, the transfer switch you're buying. And make sure that they're not branch circuits if you're doing a 120 volt uh, setup like I am. And um, make sure that there's nothing funny. I found a couple like weird things that seem like they might have not been up to code and I had to resolve those before um, I move forward with this project. So for example, my furnace is running off a branch circuit. Um, since this is 120 volts, uh, and a branch circuit will require a kind of a split phase thing. Um, so a branch circuit is when you have two different uh, circuits. They have two different hot uh, wires running from the circuits in different phases, and uh, they share a neutral. So it's a three wire system uh, compared to having two circuits with two wires each. So I had to convert my uh, furnace over from being on a branch circuit to its own dedicated um, uh, Romex line so that I can run it off the 120 volts. Um, so that kind of added to this uh, installation, uh, the time and the warnings. And I want to make sure to do everything up to code. So uh, that kind of explains it. So yeah, before you get into anything, run a hypothetical installation. Look at the manual for the transfer switch you're thinking about buying. I'll include a link in all the description for the parts that I use for mine uh, in the description. And uh, kind of run through that before you buy anything. Don't waste a bunch of money and then find out that, that you're kind of like in over your head or it's not even possible to run with your um, the wiring setup in your house. So let's get into it. I'm going to just uh, fill this up with gas, start it up, plug it in and start running some circuits off of it and show you kind of how that works. So we'll get over to that now. So I'm back inside. Uh, the generator is running outside. You saw the video of that. Uh, I currently have it. Let's see, get this focused. Uh, you can see here, it's not drawing any power. This is just the Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth app that uh, connects the generator. So it's not plugged in yet. Uh, as you can see, this is the transfer switch. It's a ProTran 2. It's their smallest model. Um, like I said, the information will be in the description below. So everything right now is on the line, which means it's coming from uh, from the shore, so from the uh, power cables outside. Uh, all the circuits are off. I uh, have it labeled, fridge, furnace, everything up here. So let me plug in the uh, generator here. 
All right, so that's in. We should see on the app, still no, this is gonna be a little difficult. Still so, uh, no power being drawn yet. So uh, let's do the kind of the lightest thing first. Uh, I'll do the basement lights. So first I'll switch this to off. You should see the lights go off in here. It's gonna get kind of dark. Okay, that's off, and then I'm going to switch it to generator. You don't see anything because the circuit is still off. And when I put this on, you should see lights. And we got lights, and it's running off the generator, so we should see it here. Yep, we got 50, uh, 50 watts being drawn. So, all right, let's try something else. Um, I guess I'll start with the fridge since that's probably gonna be the highest draw. So I'll switch this off. Oh, I actually skipped off and went straight to generator, but the circuit's off, so that shouldn't be on. Okay, that should be on the generator now. And we should see the power increase from that. It's going up. Hmm. It went up a little bit, but I would have expected more than that. I'm gonna go make sure my fridge is actually working. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I missed the opportunity for like, is, a, is your fridge running type of joke, but uh, the fridge is running. I checked all the circuits because I'm like, this is really a really low amount of power it's drawing, but it's probably because it's cool already and uh, the, uh, the condenser is probably not running. So we'll go to the next largest thing, but it's my furnace and it's, it's kind of warm outside as you can see in the last video is sunny. Um, so that's probably not going to draw too much power either. So we'll switch over here to off. We should lose the furnace and then on and I'll turn on that circuit. So we're still at 60 because uh, the furnace uh, pump also probably isn't running. So I'm going to go turn up the temperature on my furnace so we can get that on and kind of see I can increase in the draw. So I'll be back. So while we're waiting for the furnace to actually do something, I'm going to turn on the final one, which is the basement plugs, and that's, uh, you can't see, but there's a fish tank right here on the side of the screen, but I can see it. So I'm going to set this off, the fish tank's off, I'm going to set it to generator, and then turn it on. So now the fish tank is running off of the generator. Waiting for the, this app to refresh. So now you can see it's at 220 because the hot water heater is running. It's a gas water heater. Uh, it's a tankless system. So it still requires uh, 120 volts just to uh, operate the computer, electronics and things like that. Uh, but the heating itself is off of um, gas. That's why you don't see that much draw. So pretty cool. So we're running all the circuits off of uh, the generator. Um, we're at 240, but that's likely because the fridge is stable and even though I turned up the temperature on the furnace That's only gonna run the blower because it's a gas furnace and uh, That's probably the furnace kicking in there. That's one up went up to 340. So this is pretty This has worked out pretty well um, And also uh, just a kind of a note the way I set it up like this uh, There is a possibility the furnace and the fridge together will uh, go over the maximum capacity of the generator, but uh, it's very unlikely I would need to run both of them at the same time. Um, in most cases, if I need, if it's during the winter, I'm going to run the furnace. And in worst case, I could put the fridge food outside because it'll be below freezing or near freezing. And the food will keep outside and ice just, just fine. Uh, if it's a summer, I need to run the fridge. And I'm not going to have to run the furnace. So it's very, very, very unlikely there will be a situation where I need to run the furnace and the fridge. But if I need to, I can. And apparently, besides the... Um, it was initial startup draws where it kind of peaks to start up the um, condenser pump on the fridge and the, the blower on the furnace. Uh, this seems to be able to handle it at, um, at running wattage. So that's the whole video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, there's gonna be a ton of information in the description. Um, I'm pretty happy with this setup. Uh, I need to be up to code. I need to put um, one more during here because there's a bit of a too long of a conduit run. So. Almost up to code. I'm gonna call the inspector soon to get this all signed off. But uh, hope this uh, this information was useful. And uh, make sure to check back if you have any questions. Add them in the comments. All right.
thanks wanted to come back really quick because the furnace did finally kick on and we're at 610 out of the maximum of uh, 2200 but you really should be running this under 1800 but we're still well well within that um that range but all right thanks for watching